Dear Molly, I'm so excited that our wedding day is finally upon us. This is a day I've been waiting for my entire life. I always believe that God had his chosen girl for me to marry, and that girl is you. My dad always told me that he prayed for me every day to find the right girl, and you're an answer to those great prayers. I know he's in heaven right now, smi smiling down on us. Blake, of course, I've known all my life, and uh, his best man to date would be his dad and my brother-in-law, but he's with the Lord right now. And uh, I really believe that he is smiling down on us and that he's very much a part of what we're doing here. He raised a great son. And Blake, I am so proud of you. Blake, I've always dreamt of this day and it's finally here. I can't even put into words how excited I am to marry the man of my dreams, the perfect man God created just for me. You make me a better person, and I am so thankful and blessed that I get to be your wife. You're an answer to so many prayers. Thank you for loving me and caring for me the way you do. I promise to always be the best number two I possibly can with the help of our number one. Happy wedding day, babe. I can't wait to marry you. I've always Molly. Some people call marriage a commitment, and it is a commitment, but it's more than a commitment. It's a covenant that we make between each other and our Creator. Wow. You are absolutely stunning. You look handsome too. <laughs> Blake and Molly, the vows of Christian marriage which you wish to take are a covenant of faith, hope, and love. They are a covenant first of faith and trust between a man and a woman, established within their shared commitment to God. Therefore, Christian marriage requires of both husband and wife, openness of life and thought, freedom from doubt and suspicion, and commitment to speak the truth in love as they share their love together. It's a covenant of hope. Both husband and wife commit themselves to interpret each other's behavior with understanding and compassion, and to never give up trying to communicate with one another. Christian marriage, therefore, is a covenant of love in which both husband and wife empty themselves of their own concerns and take upon themselves the concerns of the other, loving each other as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. I, Blake, take thee, Molly. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. I, Molly, take thee, Blake. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. For as much as Blake and Molly have consented together in Christian marriage, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Blake, you may kiss your bride. Blake, love and cherish her every day. Don't let anything get in the way of you guys' love. I know Dad is looking down on us right now. And he's very proud of you. He loves you both. And uh, when you guys get back from your trip, I got a bunch of honeydews ready for uh, Blake to do when you guys get back. So. That's ready for you when you get here. <laughs> Congratulations. The thing I appreciate the most about her is her loyalty. Um, you are a ride or die friend, and you're the best secret keeper ever. No secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Molly called me after a night out 
with friends and told me that she met a guy. It wasn't long after that that they went on their first date and they've been inseparable ever since. The first time I met Blake, I said invite him over. I was thinking it'll be a good opportunity to meet you and grill you. <laughs> But the funny thing is there wasn't a whole lot of grilling that went on because he exceeded my expectations. It didn't take me long to realize that you were a keeper. The way that you treat Molly and how the two of you are together makes this sister so, so happy. I want to give you... I can't do this. <laughs> on my wedding day, and he told me, Never lose sight of God and Jesus Christ and keep Him in the center of your marriage. If you do that, there will be nothing that can separate you. And I pray for blessings for you for many, many years. Cheers. Father God, we just want to come before you and thank you for this hour, Father, for this happy day, this day that we can all be a part of. Father, I pray that you will bless them with many, many years, Father. I pray that you will strengthen them, encourage them, bless their individual lives, Father, as they seek to grow to be more like Christ. And Father God, I pray that you would be the center of their home. We thank you again for bringing Blake and Molly together. But most of all, Father, we thank you for Jesus Christ, who makes all things possible. Praying that Jesus Christ will be lifted up in this marriage and in this home, and that he might be magnified and glorified. So it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.